How's it going guys, it's Kyle the HowToGuy123 here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to enable the HDMI port on a motherboard that becomes disabled when using a graphics card. This will allow you to use multiple monitors through HDMI if your graphics card only has one HDMI port and you don't want to use a DVI or DisplayPort cable. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that our CPU has integrated graphics. This is because the HDMI port on our motherboard runs off your CPU's integrated graphics and not your graphics card. So we can check this just by doing a Google search for the specs of our CPU. But first off, if you don't actually know that what CPU you're using, just go to settings here and go to system, about, and beside your processor, this is the model of your CPU. So I have an Intel i7 4790K. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type this into Google. So Intel i7 4790K, and then you can write specs after if you want. And you're just gonna wanna find the spec sheet uh, from your manufacturer whether it's Intel or AMD of the specs of your CPU. So I'm just going to click the first link here. And this is all of the specs of the Intel i7 4790K. And I'm just going to scroll down here and beside processor graphics, it shows that my CPU has Intel HD graphics 4600. So in my case, this will work fine. The reason why I bring this up is because uh, AMD Ryzen CPUs, a lot of them do not have integrated graphics. So just make sure that you have integrated graphics before doing this. But if you have an Intel CPU, you should be okay because pretty much most Intel CPUs include integrated graphics. Now we're going to need to go into our BIOS to turn on our integrated graphics. So restart your PC, then when on the boot screen, hit the key that will bring you into your BIOS. In my case, I can either hit delete or F2. Once in the BIOS, it might look a little bit different than mine. Every BIOS will look a little bit different. This really depends on your motherboard manufacturer or model. The motherboard I'm using in this video is from Asus. But once you're in the BIOS, we're pretty much looking for something that's along the lines of enable iGPU, enable integrated graphics, internal graphics, or in my case, I'm looking for a setting that says CPU graphics multi-monitor. So in my case, I have to click on advanced, system agent configuration, graphics configuration, then I would enable CPU graphics multi-monitor. In your case, you might have a few other options. It might say auto on or off. Just make sure it's on and not set to auto if you have that option. But anyways, once you've done that, you're going to want to save your settings. So in my case, I would click on exit, save changes and reset. And that's going to save my changes and restart my computer. Next, we can go ahead and plug in our PC to the monitors. I found it was best to do this when the computer was off, as in my case, my computer didn't recognize either of my monitors when the PC was turned on. So remember to plug in your main monitor to the HDMI port on the back of the graphics card, and plug in your secondary monitor into the HDMI port on the motherboard. So now that you've plugged both HDMI cables into your PC, obviously you're gonna need to plug the other ends into your monitors. So now go ahead and turn on your computer and log into Windows. Hopefully at this point all of your monitors are detected. So finally we're just going to want to configure our displays so make sure all the settings are correct. So on your desktop right click and then choose display settings. The settings are going to show up and you're just going to want to make sure that your monitors are in the correct position. So for example, my main monitor is actually to the right of my secondary monitor. So I'm just going to want to take my main monitor and drag it uh, to the right of my secondary monitor. That's so when the displays are extended and you move your mouse to the left on my main monitor, it's going to go to my second monitor, which right now it's not because it's not set up correctly. So I'm going to hit apply. And now if I move my mouse to my secondary monitor, it is going to my secondary monitor. Uh, now finally, scroll down and then where it says multiple displays, if your displays aren't extended, make sure extend these displays is selected. And also make sure that your primary monitor, your main monitor is selected and it's checked as make this my main display. This is just to make sure that the right display is selected as your main display. Alright, so that brings us to the end of the tutorial. If this video helped, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below and I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.